Are you still bringing your laptop or PC out into the field to communicate with your data loggers? Hi, I'm Joe Ravel. I'm a sales and technical rep here at Solent. And throughout the presentation today, I'll be discussing two of our portable communication devices, which minimizes the need of having to take that laptop or PC out into the field. So as you can see on the screen, the two options I'll be discussing are our data grabber, which is a download only device, and our app interface, which connects to a Bluetooth device and gives you full functionality that you're familiar with with the PC software. So as a lot of you know, field conditions are less than ideal in most times when you actually have to go out. So whether it's snow, rain, cold temperatures, all of those elements could be hard on an expensive laptop. So if you substitute that out with one of our portable communication devices, you minimize the risk of damaging that external equipment and also gives you more flexibility in terms of other field equipment because you don't have that bulky laptop to carry out into the field. So I'll be showing a couple different videos and also doing a live demonstration of the app. So the first thing I want to do is focus in on the data grabber, looking at a field technician going out to collect data from a typical monitoring well, first starting with a laptop, showing how bulky that is, and then replaying that, but looking at a data grabber with all of the other same type of equipment. So I'm going to switch over to that video now. So as you can see, we had the field technician going out. He has his hands full with a laptop, cables, and water level meter. Now, if we take that same field technician with a data grabber, you can see he's got a lot more freedom in terms of what he has in his hands. So now he's starting to open up the monitoring well, take the lock cap off. And you can see in this particular deployment, he's using a direct read cable. So the data grabber threads nicely onto the end of that without any tools, so you don't have to have anything else thread it on, lock it in place, and using a USB thumb drive and a simple one button press to turn it on, the data files automatically get uploaded to the thumb drive. So with that, you get all of the information required. It's done. Once it's completed, you can disconnect the thumb drive, move to the next location, or go back to the office. Okay, so hopefully in the video you were able to see just how easily the data grabber connects into an existing setup on site. So I just wanted to show you a data grabber in my hand to give you a size reference. So in the video you saw the button for the single push to turn it on. You have your USB thumb drive, so this is provided or you can use one of your own. And again, with this you're able to download hundreds of files, so even if you have a really large project site, you're still able to use that single thumb drive. And then when you're back in the office, when you're analyzing the data, on the thumb drive itself, you'll have a serial number related to the data logger that it was downloaded from and a date and timestamp. So if you have multiple files of the same serial number, you can always look at the most recent to get the most recent data. This runs off of a nine volt battery, so user replaceable, easy to find in the field, and it has an auto shut off, so it doesn't drain the battery when it's not being used. And in the video, you saw the light flashing a few different colors on the back of the data grabber, you have a, a chart that shows you what each of those colors represent. So even if you've never used it before, you're able to look at that and know exactly what's happening. The second option we have is our app interface. So unlike the data grabber that's a download only device, the app interface gives you full control. So you're able to start, stop, download the data, analyze the data, do calibrations in the field if you have those types of sensors and pretty much have full control of not needing that laptop but still able to do everything that you want to do. This uses four AA batteries. Again, you can see it's quite compact. Just like the data grabber connecting onto the end of a direct read cable, you can do that. Or if you have loggers deployed in the field that aren't using um, direct read cables, you can use an optical adapter. So what I want to do now is show you a real-time demonstration connected to an app. So I'll do here, go through, connect in, and in this particular case I'm using a tablet, but as I mentioned at the beginning, you can use a tablet or a smartphone. So we have apps available for Android and iOS, so depending on what type of smart device you're using, we've got you covered. So as you can see now, I've connected 
paired Bluetooth, so the blue light signals that it's paired to my device, and now on the screen you can see similar to what you would see in the PC software, but obviously formatted to fit a tablet or a smart um, device screen. So here we've got all of the same options as mentioned previously as you would have in the PC software. So those of you who are, are using our data loggers right now, you'll have a lot of familiarity between the current PC software and the app interface. So on the left hand side of the screen, you get all of the data logger information. So in this particular case, I'm connected to a conductivity sensor. So it gives you serial number, the status. So at this part, at this point, it's stopped. If I click on the start, stop, edit button, that pops up all of the options of how I would initially program. So I have a location, project ID, all of your data logger sampling modes. So if you're doing linear or event based, you have all of those same options here. Working my way down, I can set how often it collects the sample. So your sample frequency, depending on the type of sampling mode you're doing. Looking at your level, that's where you set your units. So meters, feet, centimeters, you've got all the same options. And at the bottom, we have our temperatures. So Celsius, Fahrenheit, and if you have a conductivity sensor, you've got your various parameters there. If I go back to the main data logger window, I have other buttons here. So one I wanted to draw your attention to is the conductivity calibration. So if you are using conductivity sensors, you're able to do a field calibration with the app. So instead of having the laptop running through with that, you can do everything on the app. So if I click continue, this now gives me the menu option of the various conductivity solutions related to the conductivity calibration. Now I won't actually do it, but I just wanted to show that you're able to do that. If I click cancel, that takes me back to the main window. Another option you have is running a diagnostic report. Maybe as part of your downloading routine, you run a diagnostic, just record that information, or maybe we've asked you to collect that in the field. So if you click diagnostics, that brings up all your data logger information, battery levels, current readings, max min, and it also does a hardware check. So here I have all check boxes. So that just gives you a, an indication of overall health of the hardware. We can obviously download the data, the all data button, if I click that, that downloads all of the information. And what happens then is the number on the data logger circled in red, you can see the number four, that signals I've done four downloads for this particular logger. And underneath, I have all of the different data logger files with a date and timestamp and number of records. So again, over the course of the project, that number keeps increasing. It's nice in that if you do need to go back to ever download a file or not download a file, just retrieve a file, it's stored on the device until you delete it off. So for example, if I scroll down here, this is a data logger file collected in 2017. If I want to see the actual data, I can click on the graph button and that then brings up a graph of that data. So in this particular application, we were doing a pumping test. So you see the nice drawdown, recharge curves, and the different colors relate to the different parameters. So blue for level, red for temperature, and in this case, conductivity is green. If I want to analyze the actual data, if I click on the graph in the upper right hand corner, the table, I get a table view of that same data. So I have my timestamps, level, temperature, and conductivity values. And let's say I have somebody back in the office that wants that data right away. I need to select the data first. If I click the upload button, that gives me all of the saving options. So if I want to email it back to the office right away, maybe we're on a time crunch and somebody needs to start analyzing it right away, I can email it to them or I can just choose to save to my particular device. And when I'm back in the office, I can do a USB connection, just like a portable hard drive, pull those data files off, start analyzing. If you're using an Apple device, those data files will get synced into your iTunes under the data in the app. So lots of different options of getting the data off of the device back to the office. Now I wanna show a real-time application and I have a video for that. So what you would do is click on the real-time view and the play button in the top uh, left-hand corner, that starts your real-time. Now, something to keep in mind, in order to see real-time real readings, you need to have the app 
connected or the app interface connected to the data logger. So that can either be done through a direct read cable or the optical adapter like in this case. So in the application that I'm looking at um, in the video, we're using a direct read cable and we're simulating a pumping test. So I'll switch over to that video now. So now we're looking at a real-time view in the app. So I've gone in, hit real-time, and as you can see on the display, it's starting to update. So now I can use my hands to move the graph over. On the right-hand side, you see the level starting to drop in the tube. This is simulating a pumping test, so we can see the drawdown happening in real-time on the screen. So that's beneficial if you've got a certain mark that you need to get to. You can see that live on the screen so you know when you can shut the pump off or if you just want confirmation that the data logger actually is recording and the pump is doing what it needs to do, you can see that live on the screen. Now we've got data being saved in two spots. One is in the internal memory of the data logger, which is under the water, and two, the real-time view that's showing on the screen, that also saves on the app. So you've got data redundancy in two different spots so that if for whatever reason you lose one, you have that backup so the pumping test isn't done and lost. So here it just keeps going down, going down until you stop it. There I'm going to switch back because we've seen what the real time looks like. Okay, so hopefully everybody has really seen the benefit of using one of the two portable devices that I discussed throughout the presentation. Again, that's our data grabber, which is a download only device and our app interface, which gives you full control to start, stop, view real time, email the files back to the office. But again, both give you the ability of collecting the data without having to take that bulky laptop out into the field to sites or situations that are less than ideal to have that expensive equipment out. Again, both devices work with any of our data loggers, either with a direct read or wireline deployment. You've got lots of flexibility in terms of your current setup, or if it's a new setup, you can choose either option. So if you have any questions, feel free to email that to instruments at solens.com, which is our general mailbox, or you can give us a call, uh, reach out on our website, any of our social media outlets. With those, definitely give us a follow. We're releasing useful information, whether it be software updates, new product releases, unique case studies, or even just really nice field shots of typical applications. Um, if you have unique applications that you think would be a benefit for us to showcase, we'd love to hear about those as well. So let us know, again, either through any of the platforms I discussed or just give us a call. So for now, I just want to say thanks and hopefully you'll take the time to tune in to our next webinar. Take care.